Good evening and welcome. I am Jason Estep, State Specialist for Leadership and Civic Engagement and one of the advisors to our State 4-H Board of Directors. It's State Officer Election Week here at Georgia 4-H. Earlier this week, our 16 candidates for the 4-H State Board of Directors introduced themselves to the world with a live stream of their campaign speeches, colorful costumes, catchy slogans, and creative responses to random questions. Then, on Tuesday night, 4-H'ers got to know the candidates even better as they answered questions that had been submitted by fellow 4-H'ers via social media. Since then, hundreds of voting delegates from around the state have been carefully reviewing each candidate's nomination materials and virtual campaign posters, as well as re-watching those earlier broadcasts. All of this so that today, the voting delegates could cast their ballots for the candidates they feel would best represent them over the coming year. Tonight, we learn the results of our first round of voting. We will announce the five candidates who have received the most votes in randomized order. These five candidates will serve on the Georgia 4-H State Board of Directors for the 2021-22 term in one of our five at-large positions. Those positions include the president, vice president, and three state representatives. We will not learn which candidate was elected to each specific office tonight, though. We plan to make that announcement this Sunday at the closing assembly of the senior event at Rock Eagle 4 8 Center, along with the results of our second round of voting that takes place tomorrow. Now, as we have gathered to learn some of the results of our elections process, it's important to take a moment to reflect on the sacred right to vote that we share as citizens of this great nation, and it's one of our highest civic duties. With civic engagement and citizenship being core values of 4-H and playing such vital roles in our daily lives, we are proud of all of our 4-H voting delegates who exercised their vote today. President Barack Obama once said, we, the people, recognize that we have responsibilities as well as rights that our destinies are bound together, that a freedom which only asks what's in it for me, a freedom without a commitment to others, a freedom without love or charity or duty or patriotism is unworthy of our founding ideals and those who died in their defense. Let us also pause for a moment to remember those who have served and are currently serving our country to preserve these rights and our freedoms. Thank you. Now the Georgia 4-H Board of Directors has had a wonderful year of service despite the many challenges presented by the global pandemic. They have enjoyed serving you and have hopefully set the stage for some great memories for you all. But the time is rapidly approaching when they will be asked to pass the torch to the next group of youth leaders. Mr. Art Smith, State 4-H leader, will share a few reflections on the role of state officers and lead us through the announcement of our first round election results. Mr. Arch. Thank you, Mr. Jason. It is certainly uh, oh, great to be able to have our elections again and select a new group of state officers. It's such an important part of the Georgia 4-H program that we have a, a constitution and that constitution requires us to elect district officers and also requires us to elect uh, nine state officers to represent the Georgia 4-H program throughout the year. These officers uh, help plan events like state council and state congress fall forum and other things that we do throughout the year, including 4-H uh, day at the Capitol. They, they are the facing front of the Georgia 4-H program so often, and it is a large responsibility and a very important one to the success of, of our program in, in the state of Georgia. Uh, it, it, it's an exciting time for us to be able to gather back at Rock Eagle this weekend. And while we're not gonna call it state council, it'll be pretty close to state council. Uh, we renamed it the senior event because we're not actually doing our election of officers, nor will we have the, our normal citizenship ceremony. But uh, it, it will be a fun weekend and I look forward to seeing so many of you there uh, at Rock Eagle um, tomorrow, uh, well, not tomorrow evening, but uh, most of you will be there on Saturday if you be, will be there tomorrow because of 
um, performing arts and uh, food projects uh, demonstrations, which are being held at Rock Eagle tomorrow. But uh, congratulations to this year's board. Uh, they've been a great group of young people uh, who have met the challenge. And this has been a very difficult challenge, not only for this, our state board, this uh, outgoing state board, but for, um, for all of us. And uh, we'll have a time to celebrate with our state board uh, during State 4-H Congress in Atlanta. Uh, and uh, we'll have some time uh, for them to preside and uh, be the uh, presiding officers this weekend uh, during the senior event. So Mr. Jason, without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and make the announcement of the top five uh, individuals and in um, or the top five vote getters, let me say it that way. And as Mr. Jason uh, indicated, this is in a random order, so don't read anything into anything uh, uh, because uh, they're not in alphabetical order by first name, last name, or county. So don't uh, don't read anything into it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I wish I could see your faces, uh, but I look forward to seeing you uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the first person we'll announce tonight is Anaya Hall from Ben Hill County. Congratulations, Anaya. We look forward to working with you uh, in the coming year uh, as one of our state officers. The second uh, announcement is for Katie Beth Brewer from Dodge County. Congratulations, Katie Beth. And we also look forward to having you uh, on the state board this year. Next from Trutland County is Jay Lovett and Jay, I know you're excited and we're excited for you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Saturday at Rock Eagle. Uh, the next person is Willie White from Pierce County. And uh, Willie, we're, we're excited for you as well. And uh, look forward to seeing you uh, Saturday and uh, the excitement of Sunday morning as we announce the, the, uh, your positions uh, on the state board. And our uh, Final top five person that we will announce this evening is Georgia Simmons uh, from Banks County. So congratulations to Georgia as well. Uh, we look forward to seeing Anaya, Katie Beth, Jay, Willie, and Georgia uh, this weekend. And I would encourage the rest of you to uh, make sure you vote uh, for your district representatives. And um, Mr. Jason's gonna give you more information about that in just a moment. Uh, hope you all have a good evening. Uh, congratulations again to our top five vote getters, uh, and we look forward to seeing you uh, this weekend. Thank you, Mr. Jason. All right. Thank you, Mr. Arch. Great job to all of our candidates, and congratulations to our first five newly elected officers. We hope that you cherish this moment as the starting place for a year filled with great memories and humble service to this incredible organization we call Georgia 4 H. Now, to our voting delegates. It's now time to consider which of the remaining candidates from your district you'd like to serve on the state board this year and represent you. Uh, because starting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., you're gonna need to check your emails once again. You'll be sent another unique link that enables you to cast your vote for your choice of district representative. Again, be sure to click that link and cast your ballot by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Ben, we hope to see you all at Rock Eagle this weekend for the senior event. On Sunday morning, we will announce the full election results, including to which at-large position each of our five new officers have been elected and who gets elected to serve as one of the four state board district representatives this year. So don't forget to vote. And uh, lastly, just always practice kindness. Have a beautiful evening. And this concludes tonight's presentation. Have a good evening, everyone.